Uh, Vincent, do want to get your perspective in. China is so far ahead in bringing its costs down and being cost competitive that do you think tariffs like the one announced in Canada overnight would really have an impact on demand uh, in, in international markets for Chinese EVs? Um, well, it really depends on the level of the tariff, and the level of tariff this time is quite high. I think China has definitely has caused competitive compared to many other producers, but uh, whether it's really enough to compensate that kind of tariff, I think I think it left to be seen. Now, China right now, if you look at China's EV and EV battery producers, increasing the charge is trying to uh, building factories close to the market that they want to sell to, and in in turn. You, you try to avoid that kind of high tariff. But, you know, in the past, probably China is thinking about building a, a car plant in Canada or Mexico and have the potential to ship it to the US. But if the Canada puts such a tariff on China, it could really limit the room for China to use their Canada or, or I think similar things could happen in Mexico at some point. Um, so plant in there and ship to the big market, which is US. So I think, um, no matter what, it, it probably hurts. It probably will, will hurt uh, China's uh, uh, at least the momentum of the EV export. You will not entirely eliminate, but but you will affect the momentum of growth. Right, Vincent. I still wonder whether or not, if China were to impose retaliatory tariffs, that it would impact the trade relationship it has with Canada, with the U.S., mm -hmm. with Europe. Uh, yes, but you know. Globally, I think the trade relationship between China and all these countries are quite bad. So, well, if uh, uh, Canada imposed that kind of tariff, China retaliate, it just makes the situation from bad to worse, but originally it's, it's already bad. So uh, I think the, the, the bottom line is that, the bottom line is in the first half of this year, China's growth almost entirely relying on external demand. And if you break down external demand, you probably say half is emerging market, half is developer. Well. Developer increasing, you'll be rather difficult. Uh, emerging market at the moment is still okay. But in the long run, if China really want to keep a sustainable growth, it needs to boost the domestic economy, both consumption and investment, which clearly uh, year to day is underperforming the external demand. Uh, China talked about internal uh, 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 circulation two to three years ago. And I think internal circulation, i.e. focusing on the domestic market, will still be the core long, will still have to be the core long-term strategy of China, no matter how competitive its export is.